Hey, hello there, you Awakening Wonders. Thanks for joining us today for Stay Free with Russell Brand. It's a really exciting show today. And if anything goes wrong, I'll tell you what, we're trying our absolute hardest. If you're watching us on YouTube, eventually you're going to want to click the link in the description because as this show goes on, we're talking not only about new sly Instagram censorship and what might be behind it. Could it be the burgeoning conflict and the escalation of tensions in Gaza? We're not only going to discuss the unique and extraordinary origins of the recent terrorist attack in Russia and the odd idea that there are condolences being offered at the same time as a new type of munition. Let me know in the chat if you think you can guess what type of munition the United States are sending to Ukraine while simultaneously offering condolences for a terror attack and the kind of absurdity of that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry those people were killed in a terrorist attack. Okay, now, feel free to use these bombs that will, for generations yet to come, be blowing the limbs off innocent children. The extraordinariness of a collapsing system that will not and cannot make sense because we are being deceived on a global scale. That doesn't mean you should believe every single conspiracy theory that comes your way, but I would always suggest asking yourself these questions. Could they do it? Would they do it? Would you know if they were doing it? These are just some of the questions for you awakening wonders in that rumble chat. I'm talking to you. Yes, you're right. The one that was above negligent banana, Carl Rhino, that's frankly racist. And uh, Grammy Yannon, oh, Crowfarch, my bad. Yeah, it, you're right, Razbender. It's cluster, cluster F-bombs. Uh, Razbender, this is coming your way. Booby bomb, match pro. No, it's not booby bomb. That's not a real thing. You do not get a mug. And you certainly ain't going to be getting your hands on one of these little gemstones. What would you call that? Pink? Is it salmon? There's 25% of these babies this week. And every single penny we get from it, or the profits of it at least, we will use to help vulnerable people. And who ain't vulnerable in a crazy world that's perpetuating continuous war in every single direction? Who ain't vulnerable? when it seems like it's the priority of your current administration to spend time. Like, you know they don't like Donald Trump. So why is Joe Biden even on Truth Social? Why would you be on Truth Social if you don't like Donald Trump? Here, uh, like, here he's like, this is Donald, Tr uh, Donald Trump's post about he's won some awards at a golf night. And he, uh, what I like about this post is how he capitalizes the points of victory. Awards night, club championship, senior club champion. I won both. Um, uh, Joe Biden looks gone out of his way to go, congratulations, Donald, quite the accomplishment. But that's, in a sense, not acknowledging that this entire presidential campaign is being conducted on a slightly ridiculous level. Digital Hippie says, a war is when two armies are fighting. Fantastic quote from one of your greatest comedians. Let me know in the chat who you think's the greatest ever American comedian while watching your beloved president doing Golf. Okay, you're gonna challenge me? <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, oh. oh. I had a pressure there. I had a pressure. Lefty. All eyes on you. Oh my god, you. god, look at that. Look at that form. Oh! oh. Well done, someone's gonna get their head sniffed. If you're in the Awakened Wonder chat right now, let me know if you're into these little guys. And I'm gonna think of a I'm gonna think of a competition so that you can win this thing. I'm gonna sign it, I'm gonna think of a way for you to win it. This is lovely. You'll enjoy this. Kamala Harris, your VP, has been over there in Puerto Rico, like sort of and she's dancing along to a song like <laughs> getting into it and everything, which is sort of adorable. She's a human being. Let us open our hearts to each other. But what's really amazing and funny is that the song that was being sung was a vindictive critique of globalism and in particular the American agenda in Puerto Rico. These are the words of the song that she was driving along to. We want to know, Kamala, what did you come here for? We want to know. We want to know. We want to know what you think of our colony, long live free Palestine and Haiti too. Let's have a look at that moment. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look. Nothing on... Uh... Oh, I see. It's number four. <laughs> moment like the, the ladies explaining to her oh they're saying what are you doing here what's going on free palestine free haiti right. 
Okay, no, no, I'm not clapping. I'm not clapping to that. I do not like that. Now, you guys, we asked you earlier, what story do you want us to cover in this increasingly curious world? Do you want us to cover the Russia terror attack and its extraordinary origins and the peculiar way in which the New York Times immediately knew, immediately knew which group it was carried out by and how it definitely could only be them? Do you want that covered? Or we asked whether or not you were interested in Alex Jones referring to events in Gaza as a genocide or Candace Owens leaving, uh, leaving Daily Wire there. Uh, we asked you guys what you wanted and there it is. 65% of you wanted to talk about the Russia ISIS attack. So once we leave YouTube, that's what we'll be discussing. Of course, there's some pretty brutal content included in that in addition to some extraordinary complexity when it comes to the extraordinary complexity when it comes to the origins of ISIS that you are going to love. It's, uh, it's pretty fantastic. Now, what I'm interested in is the measures and manner of increasing censorship. Instagram have just introduced new ways of censoring our content. And what's peculiar is it's being done sort of almost by cover of darkness. Those of you that are Instagram users, I don't go on that platform myself, but we do publish content on there, will have discovered that overnight a new setting has been established. That is, political content has to be selected for. We've all been automatically opted in. They've found a way to make it kind of fiddly to get political content. And as is always the case when it comes to these matters, no one will tell you directly what political content means. It will include social and cultural content. So you could be up on the gram chatting about any old thing and find yourself on the wrong side of political censorship. Meta, the company that owns Facebook and Instagram, changed your settings overnight without you knowing it. Yeah, it's now limiting what you see that it considers political content. CBS 8's Anna Laurel explains how Meta defines political content and how you can change your new settings. When I first tried to change my own Instagram settings, it was actually shutting my Instagram app down. So I updated the app and then I was able to update the settings. So you might have to do that first. This political content that Meta says it's now limiting includes laws, elections and social topics. Yeah, worldwide farmers protest. You can bet that will be included. Flower Power 678 in the Rumble chat. That means they can essentially select any content at all and say it's political and select against it. They may even decide that certain users are political commentators. I mean, I think I would fall fail of such a critique. Do you imagine that that is possible? If you're watching us on YouTube, we'll be available for another couple of minutes. Then we're going to stride freely to the stream of freedom that we call Rumble. And you might want to consider becoming an awakened wonder because you get an additional exclusive video every week. And you're going to love the chemtrails one this week. I saw someone in the chat before saying, we've not had the chemtrails video yet. That's because I wanted to make it just right for you. And I use this video not only to talk about chemtrails, the plausibility of the theory, but also conspiracy theories in general. And we look at the idea of could they do it? Would they do it? Would you know if they did? That means that new theories will emerge all the time, but we don't need to necessarily jump right into them until they're corroborated. At the moment, if you use the code God is great, we will give you one month free on Locals where you'll get all of our content, all of our chats, full access to our movement. And let's face it, our agenda now is to create real independence away from a corrupt political class. That's why I think Candice Owen is making her primary home local. She's become an awakened wonder. You can join Becca D and Davros 200 and many of our friends like USA Now chatting away beautifully in that chat right away. It's a very, very, very good platform. You'll love it. Now, um, Instagram may be censoring what it calls political content. And this is a curious time when it comes to conspiracy theories. Many people found the Kate Middleton story cause for fascination. And indeed, latest revelations, and this is directly from Kate Middleton, that she very sadly has cancer. That's obviously extraordinarily sad. All all of us at some point will be affected by that disease, if not directly, then tangentially. What's extraordinary, though, is how the legacy media are all corroborating the idea that China, Russia and Iran somehow were behind propagating these ideas and theories. And it's happened with extraordinary speed. Now, obviously, this, <laughs> this being rumble, of course, there are still theories and ideas that you are free to discuss on a free speech platform. You discuss away. 
you beautiful people, you. Let's have a look, though, at how Legacy Media uh, reported on this story. Here's a uh, headline on the subject. Uh, China and Russia spreading slurs against the Princess of Wales uh, in order to, it says here, destabilise the nation. Now, you'll be fascinated to see how quickly these ideas gained traction, almost as if there is disinformation and malinformation and propaganda that is utilised by our governments and media uh, conglomerates also. Look at this from a, a morning show in our country. Good morning, Britain. Claims this morning that conspiracy theories surrounding the health of the Princess of Wales are being spread by China, Russia and Iran to destabilise the nation. How dare you? How dare you destabilise our nation? Gosh, can you think of all the ways that a nation might get destabilised? whether it's through the economic mishandling cack of our own governments, the propaganda and lies that we're continually told, the inability to control our nations, forces of ordinary people used to police and control our populations. Wow, the least of our problems is China making some stuff up. It reached even, uh, some might argue, certainly newer and perhaps more reliable news stations like GB News. Let me know what you think of that channel. Uh, it's not just uh, the MPs and security and energy that the Russians and the Chinese are allegedly uh, interfering with. According to reports out today, the royal family have also been victim to this. Uh, China and Iran are fueling online conspiracy theories and disinformation about the princess of Wales, according to a report today on the front of the Daily Telegraph. This information is across all media. We're very interested when legacy media organisations all appear to align with one another. Throughout the pandemic period, we noted the similarity of their funding models, where they accepted advertising from, indeed, who they chiefly get their advertising revenue from, and how that might have influenced, for example, their reporting when it came to certain medications that were offered during that period. And on that subject, you will be fascinated to see our conversation with Dr. Ladapo, who is the Surgeon General in Florida and may yet rise to an even more ray of position should things go your way in the US of A because he's got some extraordinary views and many of our Awakened Wonder uh, community members got the opportunity to ask him questions. It was a brilliant conversation. You'll love it. You'll see that in the coming days. But if you were an Awakened Wonder, you could have joined and asked questions during it. Let's have a look at a little more legacy news reporting on this subject before moving on to the extraordinary motions, notions and movements in what we call, I suppose, right wing media space. For example, you know, Candice Owens has left uh, Daily Wire. She's joined Locals now. Alex Jones has expressed some extraordinarily, what I want to say, interesting views when it comes to events in the Middle East. And we're going to be looking at that in a minute. Mazen Arabi, one, love your work, mate. Thanks, mate. I appreciate that. I hope I said your tag correctly. Let's have a look at one more piece of uh, propagandist coverage of this story, and then we'll uh, move on. Well, we know that the, in the past countries have tried to interfere and influence elections. It now it seems that the royal family, and in particular the Princess of Wales, have been targeted as well. Now, there's been a huge amount of support since that announcement you're saying uh, on Friday. Uh, the vast majority of people in the country, the vast majority of people watching, very sympathetic. A lot of us haven't forgotten Russiagate, where we were fed false narratives by the legacy media almost continually. Many of us will still recall the vilification of Joe Rogan when he had the audacity to mention how he'd personally responded to a personal medical condition. In short, he got COVID and treated it himself. You will remember the amount of propaganda and how hard they lent into ivermectin is a horse paste. Just one uniform global voice parroting the same message. Well, guess what? The FDA now are un able to describe ivermectin as an animal medication by law because it is fake news and misinformation. So if you wait around in these spaces long enough, you will be proved right eventually because the legacy media and their establishment overlords, should we call them overlords, are lying to us. Oh no, not destabilization. By the way, your food, food prices have doubled, says William B. Taylor. Let's have a little look at this uh, British propaganda for a few more seconds. I'm very supportive to her, but in the last few weeks, we haven't just had conspiracy theories, have we? There have been very cruel and sometimes very Someone said bloodbath in the chat. You do not use the phrase bloodbath, okay? That hurts people.
few main comments. Now, some of these, it is being suggested, the worst of it may well have been originated from fake accounts, from bots, uh, originated from propaganda machines in countries such as Russia, uh, China, and also Iran uh, as well. God, you should probably have wars with those countries then. And would you additionally please censor all of our content and control our conversation just to help us? You know, we can't have anything like this happen again. Ah! Now, what are the countries going to do about it? The government, of course, and our agencies are well aware of this. They are going to take sanctions uh, today against China for separate issues uh, for hacking uh, MPs' uh, accounts. But will all of this put more pressure on social media companies? You know that at the moment, the US government are lobbying to ensure they still have the right to purchase private data of US citizens as long as it's garnered by private companies to bypass laws around data capture. You know that's happening right now. You know that their intentions around TikTok and possibly even Instagram are more about censorship when it comes to issues relating to war rather than any threats from the Chinese Communist Party when it comes to TikTok. You know that Julian Assange is still still in prison without trial in the United Kingdom, awaiting results to see if he's even able to appeal against extradition. So while that fella stands there in front of that castle, we have to acknowledge that propaganda is at least a two-way street. To intervene as well. We hope that you'll understand that as a family any individual suffering in that way is sad. Of course it is. Now, let's talk about the important subject of Israel and the remarkable impact it's have having on right-wing spaces, but culture more broadly. Is it being used to legitimise censorship? And when I say Israel, I don't mean the nation of Israel. I mean current events in Gaza. Let's have a look at Caitlin Johnston's recent post to kick us off. She says, Ben Shapiro cancelled cultured Candace Owens out of a job. And Alex Jones has condemned Israel's gender genocidal atrocities before most Democrats on Capitol Hill. American right-wing punditry is a trip, man. And that's an interesting perspective, isn't it? To consider that Alex Jones and Candace Owens are to the left of the Biden administration, particularly as we speculate in a video coming later this week, there are ongoing arms deals. We know there are ongoing arms deals that Biden's administration continues to arm Israel, keeping the arms sales at a certain level so they don't have to be sanctioned by Congress. And what if it is because of reporting on Palestine that TikTok are facing sanctions? What if that is the case? Is it possible that that's the case? Uh, Candice is, of course, leaving Daily Wire, um, many assume, although I don't know if uh, Candice has bigger balls than her. That woman has got balls. There's no question about that. She got balls of steel. She's a powerful individual. There's a lot of people that are detractors of Candice Owens, but she's not a person who's afraid to speak her mind. And I think that's an admirable quality. Let's have uh, a look at what she said, Russell Fonzie Brand, Slim Feasy. Hey. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you because everybody's noticing it. Every single political commentator in America, every single one of them knows this, that if you do not step out and say things that are radically pro-Israel, or if you are too quiet on certain narratives and they want you to be radically pro-Israel, you can lose everything. That's truth. That is a fact. I'm not, I'm not feeling like I need to hide from that anymore because, or be afraid to say it rather is a better way to say it because I've endured this for years. I'm just at the end of my rope. I've, I have given so much rope here and I am just done with it. This is her, that was her last episode, actually. She never did any further reporting on Daily Wire. Let's have a look at what she said on her new platform. This is the Awakened Wonder platform, Locals, where our members get additional content, extra videos every single week, and the opportunity to participate in our burgeoning revolutionary force. Hey, guys, it's Candace. The rumors are true. I am free. Welcome to my Locals page. So much to talk about. Obviously, I'm going to take a couple of weeks here just to rebuild and to refocus and to create something that is actually mine and something that can't be threatened or taken because it belongs to me. I can't tell you enough how much your support has meant to me over the years. We're just getting started. Join the Locals page, obviously, here. You can support me and my work as an independent journalist, as an independent podcaster. Um, we're still going to be doing five days a week. There'll be tons of announcements coming in the next couple of weeks. And I guess the last thing I want to say is thank you. And for those of you that don't want to be on Locals and just want to support in any capacity, you can head to GoCandice.com. Thank you, guys. There she goes. Uh, let's have a look now on this potentially pivotal moment 
where Alex Jones has posted this on Israel. I'm going to read this out. Uh, Israel has lost the high ground. This is not war. It is robotic, excuse me, mass genocide. Section 1091 of Title 18, United States Code, prohibits genocide, whether committed in time of peace or time of war. Genocide is defined in 1091 and includes violent attacks with the specific intent to destroy in whole or in part a national, ethnic, racial or religious group. So plainly, these spaces are radically altering fast. New alliances that were starting to coalesce are being challenged. One of the issues that we can all agree on, I'm sure, can we agree on this, is free speech, the ability to disagree, the right for us to dispute and to have our voices aired, the right to choose for ourselves what our perspectives are, the maximum amount of democracy possible. And if you want my personal take, no more war. No more war, no more meddling in other people's nations or other people's disputes unless it is to advocate for peace. No more colonialist, imperialist projects in various forms that destabilize other nations and likely contribute to mass migration. A return to first principles, maximum freedom of the individual, maximum freedom of the family and the community, however you define family and community. The ability for us all to live Live harmoniously in fully autonomous, independent communities with representation where possible. Because it seems that if you had representation and democracy when it comes to the issue of continuing to fund both the Ukraine-Russia war by proxy and the Israel-Gaza massacre by proxy, American people, and in particular, it seems, if statistics are to be believed, Biden voters are not fans, but that's just what I think on that issue. Let me know what you think in the chat. Now, I'm very, very excited, so excited that I almost lost myself to tell you that today's episode is brought to you by Sticker Mule. Who don't love Sticker Mule? Because with Sticker Mule, you get your own stickers in any shape that you like, any color. People just don't care what shape or color they are. These stickers are this shape and color, right? Check it out. You can make your own for just a dollar and get free shipping. Upload a design, a photo, or a JPEG, and Sticker Mule will make it beautiful. You can make anything. Express yourself. Use your imagination. The stickers will come to you in four days after you've seen online proof showing you exactly what the stickers will look like. This can go to get to you wherever you are in the world. Wherever you are in the world, four days. You can get 10 custom stickers now for a dollar. The shipping's free. Go to stickermule.com forward slash Russell Brand to get this deal. If you use my code, it will make it look like uh, adverts on our channel work, and that's pretty cool for us. Okay, start the countdown. We are leaving YouTube right now. Not forever. If you're an awakened wonder there, we will continue to post fantastic videos, and you should watch them all. We need your support. But we need you to click the link in the description right now because we are going to talk about this terrorist attack in Russia, its origins, the bizarre hypocrisy of America offering condolences. You will love this piece of reporting. Consider becoming an Awakened Wonder 2 where you get an extra video every week, including the chemtrail one that everyone's been talking about and waiting for. And you can join us live with guests. Click the link. See you in a second.